my friends and welcome to the the session video of June. This one's gonna be a bit chaotic and all over the place because it's exam season so probably won't be doing as much knitting as I would usually do um, because I'll be studying. Just want to get that out of the way so you know up front. It might not be what you're used to but it doesn't have to be a bad thing though. Maybe this is my best video yet. We will see. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's it. Enjoy. Update. I finished my first suck tube. So all I have to do for this one is put in the heel. I was debating whether to do that first and then move on to the second sock or just move on to the second sock. And as you can see I did the latter. So that is um, my current main project. However, um, I have been chosen to do a test knit for uh, Andrea from Oops and Loops again. Um, I think last month or two months ago I did the 6 and one top for her, um, which I just really liked. I liked the way she did her testing. I think she was very kind, very understanding and just was a lot of fun and I haven't really been in the testing um, sphere uh, for a very long time so it was nice to get back into it and yeah I enjoyed it myself so I figured why not do it again so I was thinking of making it in this combination of yarn so this is uh, a yarn that I thrifted a very quite a long time ago I really like this colour um, and supposedly this is 50 grams, 150 meters and I have two of these and then I have um, some uh, Shekhamaya Ketanya um, yarn just in a, it's not bright white but it's, I thought this was going to be the combo of yarn that we would try out and yeah, I think I'm going to cast that on soon. Right, so yesterday I started on my test knit. Um, originally I was going to make it uh, the top white with green stripes, just because I have more of the white. But I made a swatch and it just didn't feel quite right. So instead, I'm making the top green with white stripes. I finished the back panel yesterday and then this morning I cast it on the left front. Finished that. And now I'll be moving on to the right front, finish the front, and then we can knit in the round, which is always exciting. Under, I've been wondering where this goes. Do you? I think my test knit top, it has turned out very cute. I wish I could have made it a little bit longer, but I don't know, yarn, so, you know, can't, can't do that. But I'm excited. I really, really like the colours that I chose. So, again, originally I was planning on making it white with green stripes, um, because I had more of the white yarn, and maybe fit-wise it would have been better if I did that, because then I could have made it a little longer than it is now. However, I just like like this colour combo way better. I mean, it's the same colour combo, but the green yarn is now the main colour instead of the white one. And I just think it looks way better. So uh, I'm happy I did what I did. Um, I will be blocking it. And then uh, I will also be looking for a new project once again. I cannot work on the Ingrid sweater and the crossover top because I still don't have the yarn. I should really get to that. Um, but yeah, I, I will. Someday. <laughs> I am debating. I'm either just focusing on my spinning. However, I, um, I notice that spinning kind of hurts my fingers a little bit. 
um, if I do it for long periods of time, long periods of time, or I start the loofah sweater. Um, but here's the thing: the loofah sweater that I want. Um, I really like the way the little first sweater works up, right? The, the the long neckline and the long ribbing. I like the way that looks. Um, but I think the the sweater itself is designed for wearing yarn, weight yarn, sport weight yarn. I don't know. Uh, I have a bulky weight yarn that I think would look really good with those design elements. And so, if I were to make the little first sweater, um, I would have to do some calculations. Which would be fine, um, but I'm not sure if I feel kind of feel that vibe right now. So yeah, I don't know. I I guess we'll have to see. Each day brings a that I need slash want to do. First things first, I really want to finish my socks that I have on the needles right now. I don't remember when I last showed you this, but I finished the first sock shoe. And then yesterday I went to Mirror to have like a knitting day and basically finished almost the entire second sock shoe. Um, so over halfway done. And I definitely want to finish this Maybe I can finish this today, um, so my needles are free, because, I mean, not the needles, it's mainly the cable that I really want free, because I want to make some socks for my dad, so yesterday I dyed some yarn with Myrta, well, at Myrta's, um, for my dad, for Father's Day. Um, it's DK sock yarn, it's very nice, it's very soft. This yarn is like ridiculously soft. And then I dyed some yarn for the crossover top. So if you see my previous episodes, you know that I ran out of yarn for this top. Once again, I'm gonna try to show you, but you're probably not gonna be able to see what it is. I mean, <laughs> so I need more of that blue color. And so I dyed some yarn. It's close enough. So I wanna cake this up. So, I've definitely been slacking with the knitting this month. I just, I mean, it's exam season, so <laughs> I've been studying um, and just not really knitting as much as I would want to. But I'm almost done with my second sock tube. And then I think once I have the sock tube done, I should probably put in the heels and call it a day. But think, actually, no, I'll probably first do just the heel and then cast on the socks for my dad. Because I still have, how many days? Six? Still have six days? Which should be enough for DK socks. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday was knitting night. I finished the socks. Let me see. I finished a pair of socks. Very cute. I like them a lot. Just have to put in the heels that I did that last night. And then I did finish the um, first shoe for the socks of my dad. Um, but it turned out that they were quite short, so what I'm gonna do, I unpick the toe and I'm just gonna knit up until half of it is gone. So this is all I have left for the first sock. I'm gonna just knit up until this is gone and then I'm gonna use a different colour for the toe and the heel. Um, here's the thing, this is DK sock, uh, sock yarn. I don't think I have any DK sock yarn left. Um, so I'm just gonna hold a fingering yarn 
double, I guess. Um, so yeah, so we need to pick a nice little colour that goes with this. So I got my sock yarn basket. Um, so is this the... No, it's not. It's fingering. So we could do a basic white. Could work. I do also have some blues. But I'm afraid it's going to look a little weird because it's like close but not close enough. I mean, I do also have like light blue. That could work. I don't love it. Bright blue? No. I have so many blue, it's like actually ridiculous. I think this would be closest to it. But I think this is weird because it's like really close but not it. That could have worked if it wasn't for my dad. So far in thinking the basic whites might be the best option. Or the light blue is cute. Maybe. I think I'm gonna go with the blue. All right, I think that's perfect. I finished the socks they look absolutely ridiculous because why is this why is this so long <laughs> so this is um, just a DK weight sock basic sock I did the afterthought heel again because that's just my preferred method I like it um, I like that I can just you know keep on knitting um, so yeah that's these um, it's the frog mouse studio DK sock yarn, I think it's called Twisty Sock DK. Um, I'm not sure if this is officially out yet. My intention was just to make the sock with just the DK, um, but that would have meant they were, were gonna be like ankle socks. They're quite short as it is, but um, yeah, they would have been like this long, which is not really the vibe I'm going for for my dad you know <laughs> instead i did the heel and the toe in a different color i didn't have any other dk weight yarn so um just held this yarn the twisty sock like the actual fingering weight base i held that double uh, and i actually quite like it not gonna lie it does bother me that there's no little incorporation of the color in the cuff um, but that's just something I'm gonna have to deal with and I don't have to wear them anyway so it's fine. I really really like this yarn. I also love DK. I think DK weight socks are my new favorite. They just feel very structured like they feel they feel like good quality socks you know uh, and it just goes by way faster so yeah. Second pair done for this month. And I think also the last one for this month because I can not see another sock for a long time. <laughs> I hope my dad likes them. I hope they fit. If it doesn't fit, then uh, well, that that's a problem for another day. I think my next project is going to be the crossover top. I'm um, finishing that one because I got the yarn now, so I have no excuse not to work on it. I've been wondering. Yesterday I costed off um, the crossover top and um, seamed the side seams. Um, 
and now I'm doing some eye cord edging to the panels so it doesn't roll up as much when I wear it. I did the upper part here, this side, and then I started on the bottom of this panel, which goes, it, it's weird construction, um, so bear with me, but it goes all around here, down the bottom of the, um, the top, and I did the back of that bottom, uh, of the entire top basically. And then now I'm moving to the second front panel, um, the bottom. So I have to do um, from here all the way down to this section here. And then I still need to do the top section of um, the second front panel as well. But I am actually really happy with how it's going. All right, so I just finished the crossover top. Um, I am pretty pleased with how it turned out. It definitely needs some tweaks, uh, but that is a problem for later because I don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, but I don't have another project to work on right now. Can you believe it? I have my Ingrid sweater that I need to finish, but I don't have the yarn yet, so I can't work on that. But it's time to cast on something new. I personally do not feel like uh, knitting a fingering weight garment at the moment because that's all I've been doing, I feel like. So um, I instead am going to do something else, I think. Don't know what yet. So um, yeah, I agree. You want to come over here? Say hi. Friends. This is cat number two. You don't really see her a lot. Um, this is Paris. <laughs> I decided to cast on a quick little bandana um, with some leftover yarn. I just love this yarn combo. It's so good. Like, come. So yeah, I am really pleased. So last time I talked to you, I just finished my bandana, and after that, I cast it on something new. Now I have to say, it's a bit boring, <laughs> at least so far. So this is the seven p.m. tank. 7pm 7, 7 tank. Um, I think it has a very interesting construction, just the start is a bit bit of a drag. Um, so yeah, but that's what I've been working on. Because it's a bit of a drag, I did also start a quick little side project. Like a year ago, made um, a crochet string of pearls um, and I still had as like a single skein of green laying around um, and so I made some vines. All right, it's the end of the, the year. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the end of the month. So I wanted to talk to you about all my projects of the month. So the first thing I finished this month was the Costa Nova tank, which was a pattern test I did for Oops and Loops on Instagram. Um, this is how it turned out. As you can see, it is quite short, which was because of um, the fact that I made this with uh, only stash yarn and so this is all the yarn I had left. So it was what it was. Um, I still really like it. Again, a bit short for my liking but I will still wear it with like maybe a tank or something underneath, underneath it. For this tank I used approximately 200 grams of yarn so yeah, nice little stash buster. I really like the shape of this tank. It's very, very easy. I also really like the neckline, which is a weird thing to like really focus on, but I do really like the four by one rib. It's a bit different. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this tank. Um, and actually thinking about making another one of these. My second 
project of the month was my third pair of socks for the year because we're halfway through the year so six divided by two is three <laughs> so yeah my third pair of socks for the year very fun funky fresh i like them a lot this yarn is i think a custom based yarn so it's uh, a bit different from the socks i usually knit it was a bit more splitty not gonna lie about that but that makes sense with the cotton that's in there um it wasn't too bad so yeah i like like these a lot um these used up 83 grams in total but we have more <laughs> because i also made socks for my dad um again these are dk weight socks very fun and funky very much dad socks like is this not the most dad sock you've ever seen in your entire life it's given hiking sock and i like it i hope my dad will like them I'll give them to them this weekend. So I'm hoping he's not watching this video before then. <laughs> this I used up 118 grams. Then a project I don't have with me is the um, crossover tank that I was working on, which was my own design. Now, technically I did finish it, uh, but as I said, I think before, as I mentioned before, it definitely needed some tweaking. And so I frogged most of this project and so this project used up 166 grams but I basically frogged most of it um, and so I just also added that, that amount of yarn back into stash so no real progress on that one but I do also have a very cute little bandana this was such a fun project by the way um, very easy, very fun fun, funky, fresh. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed working on this. So I definitely want to get into crocheting a bit more. I'm just not sure, I don't really have a lot of patterns, actually I have no patterns eh, that I actually really actively want to make. So if you have any suggestions then please do feel free to comment down below because again I really do enjoy the process of crocheting. It's just I can't really find a project that I want to make. Um, so suggestions are welcome. This used up 30, 43 grams. And then one last project I did was e some crochet vines up there. <laughs> um, and those took up 18 grams. So yeah, that was also a very fun, quick little project. And then, works in progresses, I am still working on the 7pm tank. Again, not much to see yet, um, but I'll continue working on this next month. Um, so I hope and see some progress. So in total, I finished five projects this month. Um, two of which were very quick, very um, small projects, like the bandana and the vines. But there were projects in the last. <laughs> Um, and in total I used up 1,309 grams, um, but I added 441. And you're like, Caroline, that crossover top was 166. Where did the other come from? Um, I totally forgot to show you this, but when I was at Myrtis, she was de-stashing, she was going through a stash and um, getting rid of some things, and I may or may not have picked up <laughs> a few skeins. I got some Plotilopi. So this is about 90 grams and this is 40 grams. I could not say no to this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but if you have any ideas, again, feel free to comment. This is Bakka 2 yarn. I think this is 100% merino, uh, a hand dyed little ball of yarn. Again, don't know what I'm going to do with this, but like, again, could not say no to that. And then this is a skein of merino. And I have many a skeins of merino like these in my stash, so I figured uh, if I'm going to do a scrappy project, I can involve this one. And then I also have some um, one skein of silk mohair, very pretty as well. And yeah, again, I have a lot of single skeins or like leftovers of mohair, 
So one more scheme in the color palette that is actually like it will work in the color palette. I, I could not say no to that either. So got some new yarns. Should I have said no? Maybe. But also I didn't want to, so <laughs> yeah, that was everything for the month of June. Uh, I have now 10,600 grams of yarn in total, which I think is pretty solid. At the beginning of the year, we started with 1,200, 12,000, sorry, 12,000 grams, and we're now on 10,600. So I actually think, calmly delusional, I actually think that's really solid. We would be even further down if I didn't add more yarn to my stash, but I did. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> anyway, uh, if we divide that by 15, we have 212 schemes in stash. So my goal to get under 200 is definitely doable. Without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, then please do make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.